oil bunkering and the rest. The government is very, very active. But we don't see them, we don't see corresponding activeness on the issue of illegal mining that is happening in Sampara and other places, depriving Nigeria of the needed revenue for development. When we come to foreign like this, that issue is not raised. What is really happening in Nigeria? Hello, my great and wonderful people. How on a day today? I hope all of a day well. Today we get some videos for our team. We're going to be saying one quickly the review to you concerning the things we're going to be saying they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. Just as you rightly see one from the introduction of this very broadcast, Ha EBC. Young lawyers take come aside with a lot of anger to respond to some of the questions when they say it they bother us Nigerians for the recent NBA conference when it say it take place. I will leave you shortly to see the message when it say these young lawyers sent across to the federal government of Nigeria and also all the head of every parastatus. And after that one, we equally get other videos when it be say we we'll review to you one after the other. Watch this one first, we'll come back for more. Oil bunkering and the rest. The government is very, very active. But we don't see them, we don't see corresponding activeness on the issue of illegal mining that is happening in Sampara and other places, depriving Nigeria of the needed revenue for development. When we come to fora like this, that issue is not raised. What is really happening in Nigeria? Thank you. I am from I am from part of Benin where there are many oil flow stations. I believe you me, we don't even have a drinking water. Not to talk of a secondary school. I schooled in Benway State, Chile Gado College. I am one of the pioneers students. My father was a fisherman in Benway River. And that's why I was opportune to school in Benway State. Legato College, 1974. Now, the last discussion say, the last discussion say, they have uncountable security agencies in the, in the river area to check concrete. Good enough. Good enough. What a jolly fellow you are. Good enough. That is good. You have killed all of our boys. We would not have money. It's when I travel to the village, I buy gary. I buy fish. That's all of my fish. To go and share for my people. Because of our village, there's no more fish in the river. Now you say, federal government, you don't even give up secondary school. And you have the God enough to, to budget trillions to buy aircraft. Madam, madam. No. 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 Next, next question. I'm ready to die for my people. I'm ready to die for my people. Excuse me. The world, the international world is hearing me. I tell you, where you and I, let us tell you. You have made your point, madam. Can you can you relieve her of that uh, matter? You can't kill us. You can't kill us. You can't have damn it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have made your point. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say when I don't see these people, these are young lawyers when it be say their head carry fire. And most especially this last lady when he just speak right now. You see how EBC they tried everything possible to shut this woman up. You know, one thing when BC we can't observe for this old cargo politicians not pass BC. Anytime when EBC they see people, when BC they, they confront them with the truth, they will try anything possible to make sure they shut those people up. Just see an opportunity like this very conference, NBA conference. 
the Nigeria Bar Association Conference. The only place where EBC people supposed to carry down the pains of Nigerians if they get the opportunity for somebody to let them out to them. Look at the one EBC they try everything to push the woman aside. Tell me, if you not take correction by paper, you know if you see take correction by physical appearance, tell me where EBC you want to take the correction to do what they right. Now, this will be our major problem. You understand? You know what? May anybody stand before you to tell you the truth in order for you to know what you're supposed to do. Tell me how it be say you will tell no what they write and the pains of the masses to know how it be say you want to provide solution. See the wahala when it be say we get. All right. I'll leave you to share your own opinion with us concerning that very one even as we take you down to this other video. And this video, not the video, when it consigned. The video, when it we receive from the former president of this very country, when it be in him now, good luck, it be a Jonathan. Where it be say, he also speak out for this very conference, where it be say, all the former head of states and all these barbaric guard politicians gather together. See the strong message, when it be say, this man equally still sent across to these people, Concerning all the coups going to be say it they happen all around Africa. I want me to listen to this very video. Maybe when I don't come across some before, it get reason why be say we carry a con and want you and also address some certain issue. Watch will come back for more. Let me use this opportunity to advise us who are politicians and those of us who are in the security services that while we are doing the job we are meant to do. Let us not, because the judiciary is very conservative, try to blackmail them or squeeze them. Sometimes when we have political powers, we get blinded. They say sometimes uh, your wisdom is consumed with confidence. When we bear the big name, president, governor, all the speakers and so on, we become so blinded, especially even in the security services, when you're holding certain positions, become so blinded, but society is changing. And we must learn, we must admonish ourselves. And civil society is becoming very, very active. And certain things that probably we do and get away with it, we may not get away with it tomorrow. If we take laws into our hands and try to squeeze society, young people will react. It happens when I was a president in a sister country, Burkina Faso, where by their law, if the president is not there because they have no vice president, it's the speaker of the parliament that will take over the country and manage the country. The president wanted to amend the constitution so he go for a third tenor. And from the thinking of society, the parliament was compromised, so the speaker was to do it. The young people in Burkina Faso, the civil society, they mobilized and moved in to the parliament to kill the speaker. The security people couldn't defend it. The speaker has to run away. They burned down the parliament, the national parliament of that country. The mob moved into the state house to attack the president. The president defense squad that was even stronger than national army couldn't stop the mass movement. Otherwise, you kill everybody. The president has to run to uh, Côte d'Ivoire. The country was in a quagmire. Their constitution said the president is not there, the speaker. Now the president ran away, the speaker ran away. Nobody should take over power. The military have to step in. So we, the politicians, and those of us who are holding sensitive security positions should know that society is changing so much and that we should do everything based on the rule of law. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you are done here. Good luck, Ibele Jonathan. I know all these ones going to be said. They just gather their sets together and they don't ever put their ear to this very one because they believe say they get immunity and also get the influence, the power, the police and the security to themselves. Those loyalists, when it be said, they don't know what it time talk. They know. Say yes, any time when they say they call upon them, they will always have them, the guns, the barrels, the bullets to defend themselves. And above all, they get ammo tank and the money to take flights anytime, any day to 
jet out of the country when Ibise it don't they sour. But one thing when Ibise want to send across to them as a message, not part be say. Every day they toss say for the thief, one day for the owner. Just like as a side example for the Burkina Faso. It not so it did happen before, it not so it did happen before. They don't know say on that very faithful day, it will over them. One day be one day. This Nigeria want to be say that they run up and down like this, like their own private property. It will over them. Those one want to be say they think say it will be lawyer to them today, not will forever be lawyer to them. This one are our message to every of our politicians, right from the presidency to the local government council. All right, I'll leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section, even as we draw the line of this very broadcast. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.